Hello, and thank you for joining me today at the Refine Co. YouTube channel. Today, we are going to take a look at the differences between Refine Times Caroline Tran version 3 and Refine Times Caroline Tran 4.0, the all new update that we just released. And we know we're going to get a lot of questions about what the differences are, so we figured we'd put together a video and show you just that. I have a beautiful wedding by Caroline Tran herself, and I'm just going to go through these images and show you some one click side-by-sides and how I would edit with the new collection as well. And if you want a more thorough editing video on the Refined Times Caroline Tran 4.0 collection, then be sure to check out our other video that I'll link in the description for you. So the two collections, let's start with taking a look at the old collection. Um, in the old collection, we had two black and whites, um, three versions of patina, which is kind of a just that patina, like a vintage -y, filmy look. Um, three versions of pure and three versions of vibrant um, blush tone and sepia tone, which is great for um, black and whites. A few workflow tools, and then of course your undos. The new collection, very similar, but we uh, pared it down a little bit, <clears throat> tweaked all the presets. We have two black and whites, and we didn't do a lot of adjustments to the black and whites because we really really and everybody else really like the black and whites of the original collection patina we did a lot of work too um, and you'll see it when we show you some side by sides and we paired it down to just two versions because now Lightroom has the new intensity slider so we felt like three versions was kind of an overkill since you have the flexibility of adjusting your intensity with the intensity slider now so we paired it down to just two and then pure and then vibrant and each of these got their updates um, we still have blush tone, but we did adjust it, and you have the intensity slider on that now. We added a new tone called La Creme, and that is basically when you'll, you'll see when we start showing you some side by sides. But Patina always had a very warm um, kind of layer to it, and it was in the highlights, and uh, it kind of really affected the skin tones and shadows. Uh, so, what we decided to do was to clean up the skin, keep those cool shadow tones that we had in Patina, but then we give you the option to either keep it the way it is or add on La Creme to get that kind of warmer highlight as well. So you get the best of both worlds now and it basically increase your preset collection here. And of course Sepia, which we have for the black and whites. And then we have some new, um, we have workflow tools, some that were in the old collection, and then we added in a few uh, for quick um, editing. You know, So when you're editing and you need to lift your shadows for backlight situations where you just have some dark shadows, you can do one clicks here instead of having to go over here with the sliders. And they work great with our collect with this collection. Chromatic aberration tools to quickly get rid of color fringing, um, clarify, color pop. We have two versions now, which really gives you just a little bit of vibrancy and saturation boost, but they're very subtle, and we took it baby steps that way it doesn't oversaturate your image. We added in film texture, which we have in a couple of our other collections, um, because we did not put grain on this preset because a lot of people wanted it out <laughs> so what we did was we took it out and we made it so you can either add grain in or you can add in a film texture which kind of softens the edges but then puts a little bit of a it's not quite a grain it's just a little texture in the image so it doesn't look so digitally sharp um, and then we have highlight recover and then we have a soften tool so let's just go ahead and do side by sides of everything so first I'm going to do a one click of patina. So I'm going to put a little bit of warmth on this. Let's click on patina and put it over here to the left. And then I'm going to undo preset. So we're working from the same base and click on the new patina. So you can see just looking at it, we still have a cool undertone. This has a slightly warmer and actually I think I'm going to just put this back to where it was. There we go. So I had a slightly warmer um, undertone and I did lift that. And you can see how much warmer the old version is in these golds, um, in the paper. So this has a little more of a clean look, but we still have the beautiful look at the leaves, that nice green undertone. So of course you have the darker version. So if you want a little more pop to it, you can get that. And then from there, if you want to add La Creme to it, and it just really subtly adds that warm tone. So it's not too warm. This was always giving people trouble when they're editing that it just came across a little bit too much. So we really kind of toned it down a little bit. And then let's take a look at pure on this one. 
I probably won't go through both side by side on all of them, but let's just take a look at pure. And house reset and take a look at pure here. So here we're going to see it is very similar um, to the naked eye, <laughs> but I see the differences right away. This one, this pure had a little more magenta base to it. Um, and we took a little bit of that out. We cleaned up the highlights. That way you can add on blush if you wanted to. Um, and you can add on um, la creme if you wanted to. So it really gives you flexibility to kind of adjust it to your personal taste. But we really feel like we just cleaned it up a little. Uh, the greens are better and um, really just gave you a cleaner base to work from. And I think we're going to see it even better when we look at it on skin. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and do this one one more time and I'll do vibrant. I'm going to try to get through these quickly. And so this video is not too long. Okay, so Vibrant, there was a big change in this one, and that was we were seeing a lot of blowout with the old version. So we really toned down those highlights, but still kept it nice and clean. Um, and if you really wanted to crank those whites up a little more, you can really just lift your highlights. But we were trying to keep it very filmy and not blow them out. So we really worked with that. And then when you add on your color pops, you can really get even more boost in your colors without being overly saturated. So again, some of these changes are subtle, but they're actually meant to make it as clunk like as possible so you don't have to do too many adjustments. Um, let's go ahead and look at this one. It's patina, one click. I'm gonna go ahead and lift a little. And then patina same thing lift a little in here you're really gonna see more of the differences so we have if you look in the heart shadow area of her arm and this is something that we did get complaints about um, that just people struggled with is the shadows were just a little too harsh or a little too muddy or a little too much of the cool tone so we lifted that a little bit cleaned up the skin tone so you get a lot more of a smoother transition going from here to here and you can really see it in here um, and it's got a nice rounded out uh, black point that way um, it gives a lot more depth so since this is backlit we just want to kind of lift the shadow just a little so you really just find your sweet spot um, but it gives you a nice rounded base and you can see here in her hair we still have that cool undertone but not quite as much as we are seeing in the old version of patina we also have a little more of her warmth showing through, which gives a little more of a natural hair color look. So we just really clean that up. And the whites are a little cleaner. You can, of course, add La Creme, which will give a nice little bit of a warm highlight. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Let's take a look at Pure real quick. Same thing. Let's lift that exposure. I'm going to lift all the shadows just a smidge. And there you go, lifting the shadows just like we did on the other. And you can really see here just how much cleaner the new Pure is. It's actually Pure. <laughs> so this one has a little more warmth. And now if you want more warmth, you can add it in or take it out instead of it being built into the preset. So we really gave you more flexibility with this preset. All right, let's go ahead and look at Patina here. I'm just going to do one click, no adjustments. And there you go. So super happy with this. Much cleaner. They're definitely a little warmer here, but this was a cool image to start with. So if we just warm this up here, and I'm actually going to run the old patina on that warmth and do new patina. Okay, same, same white balance. Need a little warmth because it was a cooler image. Um, but you can see how her hair just looks more natural. It's got a little more of that roundness to it. We may need to lift his shadows just a little, but I didn't want to lift them too much in the base preset so you have flexibility for different lighting situations. Her dress is way more white than it was in the old version, but you still have the option to add the creme to it. Greens look amazing. They both, they both look great here. 
Um, but if you notice in these flowers, they're a little more true to life, but still have that nice cool shadow base, but they're not as muddy. So the flowers are a little cleaner as well and her skin's cleaner and we don't have these, his hair is not blue. It's still got the cool undertone, but it's just pulled back a little bit. Let's do pure. Let's compare this one with pure. I'm going to warm it up. Go ahead and lift those shadows up a little. All right, and let's pop this one over here. Let's undo preset and pure. And I actually barely have to touch shadows on this one. So here's a good example of the old pure. I had a lot more warmth and magenta in it, and then the new pure is nice and clean. And then of course you can add on blush and you can tone that down if you want. Um, so you have flexibility to adjust it. You can add on the creme, same thing, and you can adjust that as well. So it really gives you some flexibility, but we really felt like this gave you a truer edit um, with a lot less fuss. Definitely need to warm this one up. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Um, let's do patina. And patina. Look at the difference there. You really can see the difference. It's still creamy, still looks like film, but it's just a little cleaner. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. And I love this shot. And I really like it in patina. <laughs> so I'm going to edit in that. Warm it up a touch. So this is the old version. And the new version. Just so good. I'm so happy with this. So a couple places to note. Looking into his underjaw, this looks a little muddy. gets a little too much color. Um, still got the nice green shadows. Just cleaned them up a little. His suit still has a cool undertone but it's not as extreme. So it looks a little more natural. And I feel like that really just helps the edit overall and makes y'all's life easier. You can really see that muddiness here in this shadow that we took out or flower. So here's the old version, new version. Um, and you even, if you really look here, we even cleaned up the um, haloing on the edges. It's just not as strong. So we really worked hard on that as well. Um, and I say we, but it's me. <laughs> so, but that just looks amazing. Um, so I'm just so happy with how this new update turned out. Let's Yay. do vibrant on these ladies. Why is my email? Okay. Let's do vibrant plus. I warm up just a smidge. Over. And do preset. Vibrant. And if we want to go plus, there you go. Again, true colors, just dialed it back a little and just made it a cleaner, easier edit with a lot less fuss. Um, but that looks absolutely gorgeous. And let's do Tina on this one. Lift, go ahead and warm it up just a touch. I feel like we need to pull a little of the magenta out. That's the old patina. And this is a perfect example of where the colors were just not working in that old version. This down. I feel like we need to go back to as shot. Let me do that. Let me just do as shot patina one, old version, and as shot new version. That really gives you a good look at it. So look in her arm area. Look at these highlights in here. We really just cleaned up these color shifts that were happening. Um, and then of course you can adjust your white balance to taste. There you go. Let's do pure. Warm it up a touch. Pure. Look at those greens. I'm so excited about these greens. So the old pure, because of the magenta tone that was in it, had a warmer green. Um, and we really wanted to go back to those kind of Fuji greens that everybody loves so much. So we adjusted it. Um, so you, we kept the more Fuji green, but still had the 
same tones that we had everywhere else in the old pure. Sky looks great, nice and blue. It's not turning purple. You can see there's a little more purple in here. Um, so this is truly a little more of a pure preset. And for the color fringing, I don't know if we can, probably won't be able to see that on video, but there's a little bit of color fringing in there. And then all you would do is click on the purple color fringing and it actually just knocked it right out. So it took care of that little bit of color fringing that we were getting around these tree branches. All right, here's a nice reception shot. Let's do a pure plus. I'm just gonna do one click real quick so we can take a look at this side by side. There you go. Again, just cleaned it up a little. Uh, not a drastic difference, but you can really see it in these greens. Um, the whites are nice and clean, much cleaner, and um, gives you the flexibility of adding on a tone if you'd like to add a tone. Let's do a patina on this one. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do one click real quick. And that one you can really see a big difference. So um, you get the nice tones of patina, um, but it just looks cleaner. This definitely looks a little muddy in these areas, um, in the silverware. In these shadows in here, you can definitely see a little more clarity, um, crisper whites, it just looks a little better, um, but still has this nice patina tone, so we just kind of dialed it back a bit. Uh, beautiful cake. The slant is going to drive me crazy, so I have to fix it. And let's do fire. go. Um, look at the difference in the color here. See this warmth that's in here? There's none of that in the new one. And then if you want to add in color pop, you can really push. Again, it's subtle, but it does happen. You can see just how much we cranked it up, but you can really get a nice little pop in these colors without oversaturating the image. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's do here on this one. So push it so we still get that nice shadow. And increase it. There we go. Really just cleaned up that highlight shadow color shift that we had before. Um, but it really, that looks great. Let's do another patina. There you go. Really, I mean, you can really see it right here, how it cleaned it up, but these greens still have that beautiful green undertone, um, the tealy kind of cyan green. And you still have it, but it's just a little more subtle. I love this shot. So here we're going to lift on the shadows since it's heavily backlit. Now we can use our new backlit preset. So that's a little too strong. So probably right here and maybe have to push it up just a little more. Maybe warm that up a touch. There you go. And like I mentioned before, we really didn't adjust much in the black and whites. So I'm just gonna show you a quick back black and white edit for those that may not have the collection already. Uh, it's just that easy. Film texture you won't be able to see on video, so I'm just going to add in the grain. But that was basically one click of BW Plus, increased exposure, added grain and film texture, and that looks stunning. A little bit of a darker image. Let's do pure. A little bit of warmth in here. We don't want it too cool. And there we go. And you can really push it. So if you want to brighten it up a bit, you could, um, but you don't have to. You can really go dark and moody if you want as well, but it's just such an easy edit now. Let's see what your auto does. There we go. Here again. Like so. 
bit here. There you go, you can really see it in these uh, gold areas in here. And then we have the flexibility of adding more warmth back in because this pure is cleaner. So you can get closer to the original um, way it was shot. Looks gorgeous. Another one that I would like to see in patina. One click and exposure. And look at that. that now you can really see just the comparison of how this just came across a little muddy. This has the exact same tones, but just looks a little cleaner. Cake looks cleaner. Um, his suit, uh, her skin just definitely looks cleaner. And here's another one that we need to see. We got a lot of magenta in this one. There we go. Um, pure I'm actually going to do pure plus there you go and then of course you can adjust white balance to taste or you can switch it to black and white which is what I usually like for sparklers but there you go so that's a look at the new refined times Caroline Tran 4.0 um, our latest update and it is probably the update that we're most proud of with this collection uh, so we're excited and like I said in the last video if you have Caroline Tran collection with Refine Co you will automatically get an email with the update when it's released um, if you did not get that email be sure to reach out to support at refineco.com and um, if you don't have the collection already we would love for you to have this as part of your editing toolbox and before you leave, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, and thank you for joining us today at Refine Co.